Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a new tool in Adobe Lightroom that is an absolute game changer. This tool is gonna to help you get the perfect skin tones for all of your portraits. <laughs> Last week, Vera and I had the opportunity to go up north and explore Finnish Lapland, which is pretty much the Arctic. I mean, literally, you just can't go up more north than that. It's where Santa Claus lives, it's where reindeers just roll around wild and free, and it's a place that everyone should at least one time in their life visit. There are always a few weeks ahead of us when it comes to seasons, so we decided to head up north to experience the fall colors and see what Lapland has to offer. While on our trip, we got to stay at some epic accommodations. One night we slept at a yurt imported from Mongolia. Another night we were sleeping in a glass igloo underneath the sky on top of a mountain. Let's just say it was a really epic trip and I can't wait to show you guys the vlog from that trip. As well, we shot a whole bunch of portraits on this trip and that's why today on this week's episode, I thought I would teach you how to use this new tool in Adobe Lightroom to get the perfect skin tones for all your portraits. About a year ago, I released my first ever video on how to get the perfect skin tones in Adobe Lightroom, but I wanted to make this updated version because this new tool totally changes the workflow when it comes to getting the perfect skin tones. When it comes to shooting portraits, you always wanna make sure that you have very flattering looking skin tones. Really, I think it's one of the main parts of a portrait. Now, based on where you're shooting, the light is gonna impact the skin tones that you get in your portrait. For example, if you're shooting in a forest and the sun is shining through the leaves of the trees, a lot of times you get a lot more of a green tint when it comes to your skin tones. Or for example, if you're shooting in a city and maybe there's some sort of neon lights or tungsten lighting, that can give a lot of times more of a reddish purplish look to your skin tones. Now, you don't want your skin tones to look too green because then you look like you're gonna puke or if they're too reddish or orange, you get that Oompa Loompa look from the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and you also don't want that. Now, in the past, I would use the HSL sliders to correct my skin tones. If my skin tones were too green, I would simply slide them more to the reddish side, which would compensate for that. Or if they're too red or purplish, I would switch it over to the yellow side, which would compensate for that to get into that nice orange, not too Oompa Loompa look, but just a nice tanned look for the skin tones. Now, the challenge with using the HSL sliders was that for the most part, it would work, but then there would be those circumstances where there would be the same kind of hues in the background of the photo, so that when you try to compensate the skin tones as well, the background would change, and you don't want that. For example, in this portrait of Vera standing in front of these nice fall color leaves, if I wanna change the hue of her skin tones by using HSL sliders, I can you know, slide the HSL to the orange or more to the yellow, but the problem is is that as well, all the leaves in the shot get changed as well. And I don't necessarily wanna change the colors of those leaves as well, I just wanna focus on her skin tones. Well, the answer to this problem is a new tool that Adobe Lightroom has recently introduced. Instead of using HSL to change the hues of your skin tones, you can actually now brush your skin and now using a hue slider, you can impact only the areas that you want in the photo. So you can just brush your face, brush your hands, and then change the hue of that to get the perfect skin tones. Let me show you how in Lightroom. So how you do this is you first click the brush tool and from there start brushing in your skin. Now, if you wanna see which areas you've started to brush, you can simply press O, which will do a nice little red overlay, which will let you see where you've brushed. As well, sometimes you wanna be really accurate when it comes to your brushing, so a nice tool to use is called Auto Mask. When you choose Auto Mask, basically Lightroom will decide that you only wanna brush certain exposures of the photo, for example, so if you're brushing the skin, it'll choose only the skin, but not so much the hair. This tool is really great as well if you wanna brush out just the sky quickly and impact that only, but not the rest of the photo. So brush the skin of your face and as well your hands or any other parts of your body. And once you've done that, once you're happy with what kind of brush overlay you have, then you go to the different options and sliders that you have and one of them is called Hue. 
And from here, you can simply just move the slider for hue and right away you'll see that it's changing the hue of the skin tones. Now again, if it's too green, bring it more to the reddish side. If it's too red, bring it more to the yellow green side to compensate and bring it to that nice orange looking skin tones. As well, if you find that your skin tones are too saturated, you can desaturate or if you find they're too desaturated, you can saturate them more. As well, you can change the exposure. So pretty much you can do everything that you could do in HSL with a brush and the different sliders available. Using this tool in Adobe Lightroom is really game changing because before you didn't have full control. If you use the HSL sliders, you're as well impacting all the colors of the photo and not just the skin tones. But now with the brush, you can brush in your skin and then impact the hue of only that. This has been really amazing when it comes to editing portraits. At the end of today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to this week's episode sponsor and that's Skillshare. If you haven't yet heard about Skillshare, Skillshare is an amazing online learning platform where there's so many classes to learn about pretty much everything. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Lightroom, you want to learn more about editing photos, there are a ton of courses for you to check out on Skillshare. Some of my favorite classes that I've loved to check out when it comes to Adobe Lightroom editing have been created by photographers like Sean Dalton, Ewan Olsen, or Dale McManus. These are great courses for you guys to check out. And now for a limited time, if you click the link in my description, you will be able to check out Skillshare Premium for free. So make sure you go click the link, sign up for Skillshare. It's not gonna cost you a thing. You can check out all your favorite courses and see if you like Skillshare's service. All right guys, if you enjoyed this week's episode, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date on the latest videos. Smash that like button if you like this video and as well comment below and tell me what do you think about this new tool in Adobe Lightroom. All right guys, have a fantastic week.